Question five. I've noticed in particular that older ladies, say 60 plus, have a lot thicker nails that are sometimes challenging to cut, <clears throat> excuse me, even with professional equipment. Also, sometimes this is accompanied by a thickening of the nail bed underneath, which attaches itself to the nail plate as it grows. I never cut the nail bed as this can cause all manner of problems, least of which is bleeding. In severe cases, the nail bed grows with the nail plate, not on all toes, but usually on one or two toes. What causes a thickening of the nail plate in this age group? <clears throat> well, a lot of questions there. Let's see if we can address them all. For both toes and fingers, the thickness of the nail plate is generally determined solely by the length of the nail matrix where the nail, pl nail plate cells are created. <clears throat> The matrix does not suddenly grow longer, so the nail plate under most circumstances will not suddenly begin to grow thicker, but it can become harder to cut. <clears throat> now there are two things that can cause the nail plate to thicken. If the, separated la if the layers of the nail plate begin to separate, the plate can thicken. An example of this is a roll of toilet paper. The roll will thicken when it becomes wet. That's not because there's more paper on the roll. It's because the layers are, of the paper are slightly further apart. This can happen when the nail plate is infected by fungal organisms. Fungi eat keratin, which causes the nail plate to loosen and begin to come apart. Interestingly, minor damage or constant irritation to the nail bed itself can cause it to produce some nail cells that become part of the nail plate. Under normal circumstances, all the nail cells in the plate come from the matrix area at the base of the nail plate. <clears throat> However, this can change if the nail is injured. Under some circumstances, the nail bed can contribute additional cells to the bottom of the nail plate. Likely it does this as a protective measure. One more thing that should be understood is that it's unlikely that the, nail would, that the nail bed itself would remain attached to the nail plate, but the hyponychium, the tissue seal underneath the nail plate's free edge, yes, this can become firmly attached and be dragged outward with the nail plate as it grows. This can happen on both toes and fingers. The hyponychium is there to protect the nail bed from infection. When the nail is injured, sometimes this tissue remains attached to the bottom side of the nail plate, stretching painfully as it grows. You are correct. This is living tissue that would bleed if cut. In medical terms, when living tissue, when living skin is abnormally stretched like this, it's called pterygium. This word is sometimes misused by nail professionals when it's used to describe normal skin tissue. Pterygium is, is an abnormal growth of living skin and can occur on several parts of the body, including the nails. So, in other words, pterygium can only be abnormally growing skin. Now, what causes this abnormal growth? It's often caused by injury, so that's another reason why it's not wise to cut this tissue. Doing so will only worsen the condition, the condition and can lead to infections and scarring. Now that we know all this, it becomes easier to answer your question. Even though the nail plate can thicken due to fungal infections, infected nail plates are usually being broken down and are coming apart to create the illusion that the nail plate has grown thicker. But usually this also causes the nail plate to crumble or come apart more easily. Since damage to the nail can be caused by, uh, since damage to the, to the nail can cause the nail bed to produce nail cells, and damage causes pterygium to form underneath the nail plate, then my guess would be that what you're seeing is a result of damage to those few toenails. Damage, irritation, and allergic reaction can cause fingernails to, or toenails, I suppose, uh, in all these cases, to form pterygium. On the toes, though, pterygium is generally a result of injury. <clears throat> this injury doesn't have to be very severe. Even wearing shoes that are too small can cause this to occur. Since injury can also contribute to the nail bed thickening, the most likely reason for what you're describing would be a constant or repeated injury or irritation to these toes. <clears throat> it would be best to refer them to a, to a podiatrist or to their own medical doctor, but I'd recommend also talking to these clients about their footwear <clears throat> so they can identify any irritation or injury to that area. 
If the condition should become painful or infected, they should be immediately referred, very painful, I should say, or show signs of infection. They should be immediately referred to a medical professional for evaluation.